design of a two input multiplexer using double pass transistor logic. Multiplexers. Multiplexing means transmitting a large number of information units over a small number of channels or lines. A digital multiplexer is a combinational circuit that selects binary information from one of many input lines and directs and directs it to a single output line. So this is a figure that represents a 2 to 1 multiplexer that has two inputs IO and I1 and one output and select pin denoted by SEL that determines which input connects to the output. So the operation of the multiplexer can be understood with the help of the second figure. When select 1 or when select pin is at logic low or 0, input IO will be connected to the output. And when select pin is at logic high or 1, the input I1 is connected to the output. So this is a two-input multiplexer design constructed from standard NAND gates. So by the truth table, if A is equal to 0, the multiplexer will then select I1 and then pipe it to the output, regardless of the logic of IO. If A is equal to 1, the multiplexer will select IO and then pipe it to the output, regardless of the logic of I1. And pass transistor logic. The pass transistor logic or PTL is a better way to implement circuits designed for low power applications. The advantage is that one pass transistor network, either PMOS or NMOS, is sufficient to implement the logic function, which results in smaller number of transistors and smaller input load. There are two main transist pass transistor circuit styles, those that use NMOS only pass transistor circuits like CPL and those that use both NMOS and C and PMOS pass transistors like DPL. Double pass transistor logic. Double pass transistor logic or DPL is a modified version of complementary pass transistor logic or CPL that meets the requirement of reduced supply voltage design. In DPL circuits, full swing operation is achieved by simply adding PMOS transistors in parallel with the NMOS transistor. So these are the circuits for the DPL uh, logic. We have the AND gates using AND gates, using NAND gates, using XOR and the XNOR. We also have the advantages and the disadvantages of the DPL. For the advantages, one pass transistor network, either PMOS or NMOS, is sufficient to implement the logic function, which results in a smaller number of transistors and smaller input load. DPL uses both PMOS and NMOS devices in the pass transistor network to avoid non-full swing problems. Double pass transistor logic is shown to improve circuit performance at reduced supply voltage. Its symmetrical arrangement and double transmission characteristics improve the gate speed swing uh, without increasing the input capacitance. The structure of a double pass transistor logic is the solution in the problem of the complementary pass transistor logic or the CPL, which is the speed degradation and noise margin. It also has a simple design and has low contribution to static power, has a better performance in implementing XOR and multiplexer. The disadvantages of a DPL, NMOS pass, NMOS pass transistors not capable of passing a good logic one due to threshold voltage effect, which is similar to PMOS, pass transistor which is not capable of passing good logic zero. It is also poor performance in the implementation of end and or gate. Okay, so this are the transistor sizing. For the PMOS, I used a width of uh, 1.6 micrometers and a length of uh, 0.35 micrometers. And for NMOS, 
the width is equal to 0.8 micrometers and the length is 0.35 micrometers. Okay, so this is the schematic diagram of uh, our uh, circuit. So in our circuit, we have uh, two inputs, the A and B. We also have the select, which is the SEL. And this circuit has a 3.3 volts supply. So these are the TPL circuits using the NAND gates. So on the select or on the SEL, we have the inverter with a data stream of uh, pulse uh, using pulse 0, 3.3, 0 nanoseconds delay, 1 and 1 nanoseconds rise time fall time, uh, 150 uh, nanoseconds that is the time when when the pulse is on or the 50% duty cycle and also we have the 300 nanoseconds period on the input A we have a data stream using the pulse uh, 0 3.3 0 nanoseconds delay 1 in 1 nanoseconds uh, rise time fall time uh, 75 uh, nanomet uh, nanoseconds 50% duty cycle and 150 uh, nanoseconds period at the input B we have the pulse of 0 3.3 uh, 0 nanoseconds delay 1 nanoseconds rise time fall time 75 nanoseconds period and a 37.5 50% duty cycle so at the output side, I used a 300 femtofarad and I also use a trans transis, a trans analysis of 1p something, 1p or something and 300 nano range. So this is now the simulation of our circuit using LT Spice. So at the bottom line, this is the the uh, select. This is the select. The green line, this is the input A. The blue line, this is the input B, and the red line, this is the output. And from our truth table, it corresponds to our simulation. So when the when when the select is in a high state, the it selects the input B, which is high low high low, and pipes it to the output high low high low. When the select is in low state, it selects the input A, which is high high low low and pipes it to the output high high low low so that is the simulation of our circuit and this is the design of um, of the two input multiplexer using the dpl thank you